Hi, Mark here from the Tangibound Podcast Network and host of the flagship show, the Tangibound Podcast. Did you know that we over at Tangibound are always looking for amazing podcasts to promote? And did you also know that we are also proud nerds and geeks of everything from movies, music, gaming, TV shows, and comic books to wrestling, MMA, soccer, and football? Whatever you can nerd or geek out about, we've got it. And if you're interested, we can help you find it. And if you're a show looking for a place to call home, we've got you covered. Side effects may include upset stomach, dizziness, tumors, shakes, and in some rare cases, death from excessive laughter. Though to be fair, it's only sometimes. Other side effects may include diarrhea, gallstones, heart palpitations, and strong desire for cookies on the dark side. Talk to your doctor and visit TangiboundNetwork.com and see if Tangibound Network is right for you. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Welcome to the podcast from Temperance Town. The sexiest podcast of world renowned. Tony grows a beard to hide his chin, swabs it with Earl, so it glistens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Download the pod, you won't get enough of these dapper chaps talking deadly fluff. In Hobo Gulch, they run a homeless mission, clanging and banging with the pentagram of kittens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. They enjoy their whiskey and local craft beer. By Odin's on Cubis, we give a cheer. Tony's a raccoon when he's booziest. Don't be a savage, be an enthusiast. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. On the frozen tundra, they call it a lock. Tony likes to masturbate in a sock. Brian pisses rocks cause it feels so great I still don't know who the fuck is Tate Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier The boys will let you know when there's a Due to male pattern baldness They don't wear curlers Stay salty people, that's their closing line And don't forget Have a beer, you'll be fine Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty Hey enthusiasts, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 314. Long standing sexiest podcast on the network. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Indeed. I am uh, what, Brian. What? I hear. Uh I am Tony over here now. Yeah? Alright. I'm over here now. <laughs> oh Something. right. <sighs> oh, yeah. I, well, I got that. Oh! oh there we go. I yeah, I forgot about that actually right yeah, yeah hi hi brian i feel like we've been recording for a while already yeah it does feel that way doesn't it i know it's crazy but clearly we have this beginning of this show mm-hmm. it's crazy you want to you want to let the listeners in on what we were doing oh was that the sound of the fourth wall breaking Psst. <laughs> uh, i don't have the right tab pulled up ah, um, damn it so we just got done recording some exclusive content for y'all Patreon supporters out there. And I'm going to title it Kurt Cobain's Mummy Dick. <laughs> very, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Very appropriate. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so if you want to check out our past like little episodes we did when we just shot the shit about news, we have a dumb video up there of us driving to a concert. <laughs> very dumb. And now we got... Some, uh, you know, uh, Kurt Cobain's mummy dick. Yeah. Just check out patreon.com 
slash salty language and it's just you know low low low, low cost of a three dollar donation you get access to all them goodies mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you can even do it once consume it all and then that's it yeah not that i recommend that tony will send you a uh, a nice kiss on snapchat if you do <laughs> yes i will i'll have like uh dog ears on uh. And it'll be smooches and stuff. I wish they'd get rid of the fucking dog ears. And there'll probably be a Nick Cage head somewhere. Probably, yeah. Probably. So That's tired. my new jam. I'm so tired of the dog ears. I agree. Do you know why I'm so tired of them? They're pretty horrible. Aside from the fact that like every picture on Snapchat or Instagram or Twitter seems to be somebody in one of those fucking dog ears filters. What's that? They're also on dating sites. Like, I couldn't tell really? you how many pictures of women now include various snapchat filters and it's like um yeah i don't want to see what you look like with a fucking snapchat filter especially i've seen quite a few where that's the only picture on their profile like hey bitch your virtual crown of flowers does not impress me you know what the crown of flowers at least i can still see your face like some of the filters like obscure features and shit you know it's like this is weird well they have the one filter that like beautifies you yeah that's I'm the one sure I a use. lot of people use that. The one that gives you the yeah. little nice flower on your head and, you know, yeah, lipsticks like and stuff. Yeah, it, like, your face sure. out and stuff. Right. No, it's... I, It'd be hilarious if they're using the filters that, like, made your face enormous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have seen... And it's like, look, I like, if they have other pictures, it, it doesn't bother me, you know? Because whatever, they're having some fun. You know, that's cool. But yeah. when it's, like, the only picture, or, like, I saw one last night, four four pictures, each one was a different different Snapchat filter. And I'm like... Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm not, I'm, I'm not your Snapchat friend. I don't need to see your story, <laughs> right? It's like, look, if I mean, if that's the case, if that's all you're trying to do is get people to add you on Snapchat, at least put your handle in the the uh, bio, you know? Because right, exactly, I've seen people. I saw one profile that said that just trying to add people to my Snapchat. Here's my name, basically. Yeah, there's actually uh, a broad I followed who lives in Detroit. Yeah. And the same reason, I was on social media, and she's like, hey, here's my Snapchat thing. I'm like, I don't know this lady. Let me add her. And, yeah, she's a fun follow. Yeah. Nothing nothing nonsensical, but, you know, yeah. she's got nice boobas. <laughs> well, that is what you look for in a Snapchat follow. So, you know. Sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying I don't. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes. Right, right. Yeah, what do you got to do? Yeah, listen. Yeah, exactly. They're there to be. No, I'm kidding. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's, you know. A nice Snapchat rant to start the, the the show here. Well, plus Patreon. Make sure you hit up on Patreon. So much content, Brian. <laughs> it is, and I'm and I'm de- devoted to posting something new there every week. That's true. You have been. Yep. Yes. Even if it, even if like like today, I was like Brian. We need to record some. Yeah. If I forget, I will make a video on where I will throw the phone at my dashboard and video some shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember, remember do you, Brian, do you remember? I remember. Once upon a time ago, I used to do cup holder theater. I do, yeah. I might have to bring that shit back. I think you should. That was entertaining. I enjoyed it anyway. Right? Yeah. It was weird looking at your crash the whole time, but yeah, what are you going to do, you know? You know, it's just like my website with my my desk cam. <laughs> you know, you can put that, like, it's called a desk cam because you can put it on a desk, right? Not the one I bought. You don't have to have the under the desk cam. <laughs> no, no, my, the one I bought looks like a Chinese takeout box. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, is that a chopstick or a camera? Yeah. Yes. That's the answer. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Multi-tool. It's both. I don't really, buy those kitchen unitaskers. Thank right. you, Alton Brown. That's a really weird uni- uh, uh, multi tool. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like you're, if you can eat, the, you're just you can eat you know, like General Tso's chicken yeah. or have a bathroom spike. Yeah, know? I was gonna say you're just anywhere. <laughs> you just have chopsticks out, and people are like, what? Why do you have chopsticks out at, at Zoop? You know, <laughs> it's Zoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't. Is that a national chain? Do I have to explain that? I don't know. So. I don't know if it is or isn't. It's okay. it's a soup. It's like yeah. a soup. Fast. It's not even really fast food. Yeah. They have like all these crocks of boiling soup that who knows how long they've been sitting out. That's why I'm kind of weird on Zoop. Whatever. That's what makes them delicious, Tony. Rolling them um, dice. Mm. 
It's like, hey, right. you, it's like how is my body going to know what botulism is if I don't introduce <laughs> right? it to That's it? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you expose it to all these other viruses and stuff, so, I mean, why not? <laughs> yeah, well, you, You'll have that when you yeah. sleep in the grass occasionally. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right, right. That's Yeah, that's what we meant, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Tony's getting botulism as a sexually transmitted disease because he just won't keep his dick out of the soup. Because <laughs> <laughs> I make love to food, right? Yeah, I know. You're very tender. <laughs> Sweet, sensual love. That's actually become my new favorite. My new thing on uh, Snapchat as I yeah. just do as cooking. <laughs> Impromptu recipe time. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Yeah. That was, that was fun the other day. Very sensual. Yeah. I actually, That's yeah, fun. W- watching that the other day, I was like, ooh, I should make that. <laughs> it's del- It was delicious. Yeah, it looked pretty tasty. More veg, though. Needs more, needs more veg. Okay. That's what we determined. All right. That's fair. As is like half the shit we eat. He's more veg. Right. And by more veg, I mean like, you know, like cripples in wheelchairs. Of course, of course. I knew what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Need, need more vegetables yeah. in here. I don't, know how many, them in. I don't know how many times I've gone over to Tony's house and there's someone just laying on the counter and he's carving them up. You know? Yep, exactly. Need more veg. It's fun because I can't feel my legs. <laughs> The worst part is that Tony doesn't start on the legs. <laughs> well, yeah, true. He leaves those. Yeah, for there's last. nothing down there but like super lean meat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, who wants calf jerky? <laughs> uh, this is terrible. Or or, or is it kind of like veal? I don't know. I mean, is is our? <laughs> I can't believe we're going on this path. I can't. But our our is in the cannibal world. Are cripple legs the veal of the cannibal world? <laughs> That's a good question. We need to find a cannibal and ask him. <laughs> right? <laughs> so if you're a listener and a cannibal, <laughs> hit us up on the salty line. <laughs> right? I mean, is Stephen Hawking's, is he like a delectable treat in the cannibal world? Hey, you know, I don't know. I I mean, there's got to be some sort of uh, bragging rights, like if you were eating his brains, I guess. I would assume. You know, because clearly you'll be smarter that way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely. You consume his mutant power. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how that works, right? Like uh, Siler from Heroes. You have to eat the mutant. Yeah, you figure out like what makes him tick, and then you gain that power. That's, yeah. Except by eating them? By eating them, yeah. Yeah. Like, hmm, I got a nice Hawking souffle going. I can't wait to get smart. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it rises. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> so <laughs> how do we get back from this? Uh, that's a good question, Tony. I don't, uh, I don't think there is any coming back. Eh, what the hell? Uh, well, I do have what I do have a whole lime, a bunch of ice, a splash of ginger ale, and a cup full of rum here. That's pretty awesome. That sounds like a pretty good combination. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a dark and super stormy. Does it Dark and Supercell? No. Mm. Dark and Katrina? <laughs> no. No, nah, probably not. No. That sounds weird. It does sound weird. Yeah. But it tastes delicious. It's pretty good, though. Yeah. I know, right? I bet it does. I haven't had one of those in a while. I was thinking, like, well, I was thinking, like, I need booze today because it's just been one of those days. Right. And uh, so I had booze, or I'm having booze. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Because my beer selection is slightly diminished right now. Yeah, you know, I had a yeah. couple couple all days earlier. So indeed, yeah, that was about all I wanted. Shoot, you, you should have had him on the show. Yeah, I should have, but I didn't want to wait. No, you son, <laughs> you son of a god damn it, Brian! Oh, sorry, sorry. One of us is yeah, gonna be sober to drive this. To wait. Yeah, nah, <laughs> true. Good point. Good point. So, so how was your week, sir? It was a uh, was an all right week, Brian. Yeah. I mean, you know, my lawnmower died on me. That sucked. That's cool. Did you pour pour a forty out, or you know, pour a shot out for it? <clears throat> I should have. Well, mm-hmm. That's a waste of booze. And it doesn't have to be. Booze, I mean, I mean, if, you know, the, the thing's like twenty years old, so it had a good run. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm mowing, and it just stalls for no reason. It's like, huh, that's weird. So I started up, and I'm mowing, and it just stalls again. 
I mean, I've got like three strips mode. So basically, there's a part of my yard that looks like like vintage porn bush. Nice. And then I've got like your 90s, you know, it's not completely to the dirt, but it's pretty right. short and, you know, trimmed up. Now, is it in like a, so tri- two- is it in a triangle or a landing strip? Uh, it's kind of like a landing strip. Okay. All right. As the 90s were. Sure. All right. But, um, yeah, you know. And then the rest but of your so yard, I, totally I bald. Like our, and do what? I said the rest of your yard, totally bald. <laughs> to- totally nude. You should laser that off. But, um, so I should, actually. I, oh, if I could mow my grass with lasers. That would be awesome, right? That would be, I would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's the next step. Yep. <laughs> Lawn lasers. Ooh. I know, right? I like this idea. But so, so I'm like, all right. I'm like, I'm gonna go get a nice big old glass of water. Let this thing cool off a tad. Come back, and you know, I check the oil. It's a little low, but it wasn't low enough that it should matter, right? So I'm like, all right. Let me just, you know, let me get it back to the top. Add a little bit to that. Start it up, and it's mowing fine. I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. And I get like in our strip mode. <laughs> yeah. And then I, it's, and I, I got my earbuds in. I'm start hearing ping, 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 ping. I'm like, eh, I take it. I'm like, oh, that's the mower. And it's starting to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah. So I, so, I, so I kill the motor. And I'm like, huh, that's interesting. And I'm looking like, well, maybe there's, because I'm my, you know, because I still haven't got the cutting deck on my rider repaired, which I really need to do that. But there would be times where mice would build nests up against the engine and it would start to smoke because their stupid home was catching on fire. Oh, that's you funny. Know? Yeah. So I'm like, well, maybe there's some shit in, and there was nothing. So now, like, you it. you left it running and stuck your hand underneath it to check, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay, just yeah, check. Exactly. You okay. should see my cool hook. Yeah. <laughs> Pirate cosplay is so much easier now. Sweet. But, um, so I'm like, all right, well, I don't know what's going on. Let me try to start it again and see what, you know. So I hold the little stupid thing down. I pull the, 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 pull, the starter cord. Yeah. And it's just like ping, 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 ping. Ping, 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 and I'm like, it's not starting. That's pretty good, yeah. So I, so I Google it, and I'm like, you know, pinging lawnmower, smoking, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and it, the first <laughs> article that pops up is like, signs you need to replace your lawnmower. Oh, I was going to say, it's just it's just a gif of uh, bones from Star Trek. It's dead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, it might as well have been. Yeah. So you want to understand, it sounds like it's a thrown rod in the engine. It's like, ah, yeah, you can get it repaired, but it's basically more expensive to repair it than to just to buy a new mower. Right. So Now, I got to say, you know how I like to name the show after something that was said in the show? Yeah. And I like to, yes. you know, it's fun to use, like, silly terms for a show title. You just said thrown Indeed. rod, and I'm pretty sure thrown rod is now the title of the show. Oh, so well, at least the, the run so far. It's awfully early. Right. But, you know, because it sounds kind of like, dirty. If this is the Kentucky Derby, it'd be like, throwing rods in the lead. <laughs> right. But coming around the bend is, you know, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. We haven't said anything yeah, yet. Exactly. But, yeah. I just like the fact that throwing rods sounds like something that, you know, sounds some like some sort of like masturbation euphemism or something. And, you know. It does. It and does. it's not at all. You're referring to a, to your lawnmower. <laughs> right. The old swerve. If ah, you will. Coming on the inside curve is Cannibal Veal. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Cannibal Veal. That's not a good brand name. I don't think you're going to sell a lot of product. <laughs> now, question is it veal? Is it the concept of veal made from cannibals or for cannibals? I would assume for cannibals. I guess it could be both as cannibals. You for know. cannibals, by cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> this is gonna get weird, <laughs> right? Gonna get weird. <laughs> gonna. It's been weird for a, a fucking hour and a half, or however long yeah, we've been recording or talking. True. At least <laughs> true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so yeah, I had that going for me. So I mean, my my parents have a nice push mower that's like uh, it's ridiculous, some sort of Honda thing. It's all you know, it's self propelled about pulls me. Okay, things so fucking fast. That's sweet. No, and what I, you need now, to do my, is my put, looks, put a, a little deck thing uh, on the back to where it's kind of like the Segway concept. Dude, if I had, like, rollerblades, <laughs> right. that already, the thought crossed my mind. Like, I could easily, if or, or if I had that skateboard I've been talking about right. getting. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Promise me, <laughs> if you ever get on a skateboard behind your lawnmower, someone is, is recording it. 
Yeah, absolutely. That's a good, that's, that's a good, that's how I lose yeah. my hand. Right? Cause when, yeah, cause when you eat it and somehow pull the lawnmower over yourself afterward, I just, <laughs> <laughs> turns into maximum overdrive. Yeah. I just want to make sure there's video. The most for, radical maximum overdrive. Right. I want exclusive video to put up on the Patreon. <laughs> yeah. And this is when he kicked Flip to his death. Yeah. All of a sudden we've got like tons of subscribers. <laughs> 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 Dude, there's me there's a scene of me at like your uh graveside and i'm like we did it tony we did it <laughs> and we did it i've got like a Dude, you like kiss your fingers point up at the heavens <laughs> yeah i was gonna say i've got like the, our download numbers pulled up on the phone you know like we did it man <laughs> right. we did it <laughs> uh, oh man so yeah i had that going for me that's that's exciting I'm just glad my yard doesn't look like it. There should be, like, pygmies and shit living in it anymore. It was getting pretty bad. That's kind of disappointing. I'd really appreciate it if I went to your place and there were pygmies in the yard. <laughs> I know. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be great? I'd be like, there is a yard panther up there. I saw. I saw. Looks well, ferocious. Apparently, he, he sits like a human on our bench, apparently. I have not witnessed this yet. Okay. But Jeannie and uh, Logan mm-hmm. have come home. And he'll be sitting on his ass with his legs in front of him and his front paw, like, on the armrest of the bench and his other paw across his belly. Right? That's how my cat sits. Sitting like a fucking person. My cat sits like that when she goes to clean. And then when she's done, she just continues sitting like that. Like, she'll sit on a chair or on the couch. Yeah, just like you could easily put the remote in one, you know, under her paw and it'd look like she had just been watching TV. Yeah. Yeah, like, do you need a can of beer in the newspaper or something? (laughs) What are we doing here? I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, you know, pretty comfortable way to sit. You seen the way cats lay and stuff? Sometimes it looks crazy uncomfortable. It's very true. Yeah. I mean, I've seen posts online where people claim cats are liquid from what they're sitting and laying <laughs> across and stuff. <laughs> I've yeah, I can I can understand that. I've seen people or yeah. cats do that. Very T one thousand. Very yeah. Yeah. Ver ver mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, so, uh, but but Saturday after you know we recorded this the last fine episode of this pro- program everyone's listening to, uh, we did more camp. Believe it or not, you did more what? Sorry. We went uh, to a little campground. It's like forty minutes. Oh, right. We did a little more camping, like forty minutes away. We went for a surprise birthday party. We actually we just rented a like they have like a, a cabin, mm-hmm. so we rented it, and. You know, we did a lot of camping when I was growing up. Yeah. This place is not camping. Okay. Like, we roll into this campground, and people have their, their camping trailers there with fucking decks built. Yeah. And, like, like roofs built over them. And, nice. like, one guy had an outdoor bar built. That's smart right there. It's like, this is... It is smart. Yeah. But it's like, this This is so not camping. I don't this know. is like... This is, you know, like if you don't have a place on a lake or a cottage somewhere, this is their cottage. Yeah, right. Which I guess is whatever people want to do to relax, whatever. I'm not judging. Right. But it, I'm judging a little bit. You're judging, yeah. It's, it seemed weird. Yeah. Now, see, what's funny is when you tell me this, I'm like, oh, I'd be more likely to go camping if those are the terms. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. There's a bar. I can stay inside. I mean, you know, electricity, whatever. Like when I went to visit my brother's right. camper, when he, you know, he's like, "Oh, you want to go see my camper?" He's like, "It's nothing crazy or whatever." And I was like, "Yeah, sure." And we go up there, and I was like, "Yeah, it's a it's a decent sized camper, you know. It isn't anything ridiculous, but it's you know, it's a nice size." And inside, he's got Wi Fi. <laughs> I'm like, "All right." <laughs> so, yeah, that's exa- that's how this play. I mean, some of the campers were ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I mean. Well, in fact, the, the people we went to visit, they had their, they call their trailer. It's called a quote unquote destination trailer, right? Which it's built to be parked. Yes. So it's like this massive trailer that its whole purpose is you go somewhere, and that's your place now, right? Which is also and, and like what I'm. That's like my nickname because that's basically what I do at places. So destination trailer. Yeah, I'm huge. I get taken places and parked. <laughs> that's is, that's your street name. That's my street name. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, Morbidly Flobese is my street name, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. That's my rap name, yeah. My, my mistake, my mistake. Sorry, sorry. I mean, yeah, we had, we had a blast. There yeah. was like, some 
some, you know, like, like we went into town as a little itty bitty town to get beer. Yeah. Cause you know, I got, I gotta have some beer. Well, you gotta life. stay hydrated. I mean, you know. Well, yeah. Especially when camping. Sure. What? Yeah. You could have just went and raided you know? that bar though. I, it's very possible. Next time. there is one. Next time you there was one time. dress everybody up as pirates and go raid it. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> and set it on fire when you're done too. You know, leave nothing behind. Definitely. Or Vikings, take yeah. your pick. No, no survivors. Right. Burn everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, well, it was weird because well, you might find this shocking, but I was sitting by the fire enjoying well ma- multiple beers and then delving into like rum and well ginger ale, like I'm drinking now. Yeah, you actually uh, did a good job of documenting it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, and it just hit a point. I'm like, I'm going to bed, and I just left. Yeah. You know, like Gene's like, okay, we'll see you. And, I, yep. and but when I walked by the guy at the outdoor bar, yeah, he had music playing. Mm-hmm. He w- and he was uh, sitting outside with his outdoor bar, all by himself. Ah, oh, sounds great. And I'm like, no. that's <laughs> fucking bizarre. Yeah. Although Jeannie did say when she walked when she went by to go to bed like a little later that there was a ton of people there. So he must have just been waiting. Okay. But when I walked by, I was like, wow, that's a sad existence. Yeah, right? He's got, like, the party set up, and he's like, all by himself by the fire. Yeah, he's that kid in school that uh, par- whose parents buy him the coolest stuff, you know, so he can have friends, basically, you know? Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? <laughs> now, here's a question for yeah, you. Was- so, did you, uh, did you upgrade your sleeping arrangements from last time, or same? Well, we actually had beds and mattresses. Oh, okay. Because it was a little cabin, so I had like a oh, okay. queen size and then, a, and then a pair of bunks. Although Logan wasn't with us because he had to work, so sure. he just stayed home watched the dog. Yeah. Okay. So that's not so bad but, then. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Mm-hmm. So you didn't have Leah, you know, this isn't comfortable. No, I, I mean, the bed still sucked. <laughs> yeah. yeah Uh-oh. But, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. Oh, well. I thought it froze. Oh. Um, yeah. I mean, well, the thing is, like, even if the beds suck, though, they're better than sleeping on the floor, probably, you know? Yes. Yeah. Most definitely. Unless you have my last bed. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I might as well just, you know, like, put a paper bag on the ground and sleep on it. Yeah. Like, this is so comfy. <laughs> you got to put, like, some loose change in there or something, too, you know, to... Yeah, like a loose change, a light bulb. Right, still an upgrade. <laughs> Yeah, still an upgrade from yeah. your old bed. Right. Like, ah, oh, those pieces of light bulb are really giving me a nice massage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, wait, it digs in right there. It's mm-hmm. perfect. It's perfect, yeah. It's getting Is deep. that filament so hot? That's so nice. <laughs> it's getting in there so deep. So deep. Yeah, it's so deep. Mm-hmm. So deep. Put an ass to sleep. Nice. <laughs> I was just thinking that, too. <laughs> oh, my. Right. But so we went into town to get beers, though, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I don't know what sort of selection this place is going to have, yeah. but maybe at least I can get some of that Coors Banquet or PBI, some. Big dumb PBI. But it actually right? had a, like a very, like a couple shells of craft stuff. Oh, all right. I was like, well, that's shocking. Mm-hmm. So I grabbed some uh, Sierra Nevada Torpedo IPA, which I'd never have, and it was pretty good. And then I'm I'm looking, there's a Potoski, Potoski, whatever, yeah. brewing company. Mm-hmm. And then there's a tag for one next one, just called Horny Monk Belgian Triple, and it's P- Potowski. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's weird. And then I look, and there's cans tucked way in the back behind domestic beer, and it's one four-pack of that stuff. Hmm. So I was like, somebody's hiding this, and yeah. somebody's going to be sorely disappointed <laughs> when this wingspan reaches that four-pack. <laughs> <laughs> Which it sure did. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a delicious beer. But it, it was weird because I'm cashing out, and I got, I got my whole family there. You know, Logan is almost as tall as I am now. Yeah, and they fucking carded me, man. <laughs> They're probably making sure you ain't buying for him. I'm like, <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, I'm like, dude, it's my whole family. Like, this, this is my what? Okay, all right, yeah, whatever. What you should have done then was, was great bought it. Bring up the Sierra Nevada, which I was say you should have bought it and then handed Logan. Logan. You should have bought it and then handed Logan one as you're walking out. <laughs> That would have been amazing. Yeah. But so they, they ring up Sierra Nevada, goes in fine, and they ring up the Potoski, and it didn't come up. Mm-hmm. And the guy's like, uh, there's no price on this. Do you know what this is? To the lady on the other aisle. And she's like, I don't know. 
uh, what just eight dollars? Which I'm like, There's okay, no way. this is eight dollars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> exactly. That's what I was like. I didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? Enjo- enjoyed some delicious beers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was good. Uh, it was good stuff. Yeah, we had yeah, we had fun. We had fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the more we do stuff, I guess, the more I'm, and I know she's going to listen to this, so it doesn't matter, but the more I'm drawing Genie into the web of camping. Right. Mwahaha. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she's just, you know, playing along because she knows at some point, you know, things will line up to where she can, you know, uh, kill you in Murder the forest in the or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're walking right into a starring role on Dateline. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I don't know. He went the, for a hike and he was never seen again. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> on the news. Yeah, yeah. Trying not yeah. to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that a laugh? No. <laughs> but um, in October, we're going camping again with the Devries. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and I like I was just texting with him the other day, and I'm like, I want my own spot this time because we're talking about renting a, like a trailer because it's in October. I yeah. don't want to be in a tent in October, right off of Lake Michigan. Ah, you'd be all right. You know, <laughs> yeah. So, so we're talking about renting a trailer, and I already got it lined up for my stepdad to borrow his truck to pull it. Right. And then I'm like, well, let me let me find out where this place is at, and it is like right off Lake Michigan. And then I'm looking on the map, and I'm like, huh. It's dead center in between Holland, Michigan, and Muskegon. Well, that's interesting. Holland, the home of Dragon's Milk. Yeah. Like, well, for sure we got to go on a road trip there. Yeah. Muskegon's got Unruly Brewing Company, which I'm a big fan of. Right. Like, oh, well, fuck, we buy one. And then I'm looking, and it's in Grand Haven, Michigan. That's where Oddside Brewing is. Oh, Love them, too. It's like, well, well, geez, I'm crow. Yeah. We might have to go hit some tap rooms on this little well, camping excursion. It'd be irresponsible not to. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if I don't make it up to Muskegon, I, I definitely need to get to New Holland. Yeah. I need to do a Flight of the Dragons. Oh. For sure. Right, right, yeah. Because that's what they do. They have various dragon milks, and they call it the Flight of the Dragons, right. you know? <laughs> yes, I need that in my face, yep. Brian. The finest in of dragon face. milks. Exactly. The fi- I'll, I'll, go, I'll go get their you know dragon nipples all over the place. <laughs> See, that's what they should do. Is make you <laughs> have to drink it from like you know some sort of we- nipple, yeah, some weird dragon nipple type of thing. I should ask when I'm there. Yeah. So do you milk the dragons? <laughs> I didn't know dragons had yeah. nipples. If I take a tour, can I milk the dragons? <laughs> Who's the Khaleesi here? <laughs> you know, why are you escorting me out? <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't finished my play yet. <laughs> oh no, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> just keep pushing you <laughs> as they're talking. You just keep pushing you. Yeah. You're like, man, clearly this guy's hammered. Haven't had anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like he's not hammered. He's just an idiot. <laughs> 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 they call his brain cannibal veal. I don't know. Yeah. Why. I don't get- <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Jeannie's like, I'll, I'll see you when I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'll have all the milks of the dragons. Yeah, it's like I'll have his. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to. How great would that be to go uh, rolling into New Holland's tap room, mm-hmm. like as Game of Thrones cosplay? <laughs> uh, yeah, like I'm the mother of dragons. Exactly. Bring me your right. finest milks. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, you doing this? <laughs> Wait. Yes, okay, I'll, I'll be Khaleesi. We need a midget. Yeah, yeah. And hmm, unless we can get someone to do, like, Dorf on, you know, Dorf on Game of Thrones. If I didn't have... On somebody's, yeah, it's like, if I didn't have bad knees, I'd be in, but... Uh, just, you want worse knees? No, no. <laughs> no, I'm good. No? I, no, I don't want worse oh, knees. Okay. All right, fine, be that way. Yeah, sorry. It's all right. Yeah. So, so what do you got going? I mean, I got some more stuff. Let's bounce back and forth. Let's do a little pong, Brian. A little pong. Pong. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I um. I started uh, study or to take part in a study today where I got to go to to do telepsychiatry. So basically, you oh, know, it's like the Skype stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some other program. It's, it's I think it's called like Blue Jeans or something like that, which is weird, but. You know, yeah, they're like, they're like, oh, it's Skype, but it's more secure. I'm like, okay, 
I, if it's not five oh one, I'm not interested. <laughs> Damn it, Tony. Is it skinny? <laughs> Slap. <laughs> Aren't you the guy that did the dragon milk thing? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I heard of you. Um, yeah, it was kind of weird. You know, I sit down and the um, uh, social worker's in there with me and she's like, uh, she's like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to connect you to this. And then once the doctor connects, then I'm going to leave the room, you know, for privacy and such. And, uh, so we're sitting there and sitting there, <laughs> sitting there about 10 after uh, my appointment was at three, but 10 after three, she's like, I'm going to go to my desk because we were in a different office. She's like, I'm going to go to my office and email the coordinator to make sure something's not, you know, messed up or something. Wow. And right as she's about to walk out the door, the guy shows up on the screen. Well, <laughs> it turns out basically he, he was in there waiting and I was, but for some reason the software didn't recognize we were both in the room. So that's, it's so secure. So yeah, that's how that secure it is. You can't even connect with each other. Can't even, yeah, exactly. One person only in those conversations. Um, you know, and of course, they're both like, oh, sorry, thanks for being patient. And I'm like, it's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> you know, um, you know, I'm pretty, pretty chill with that stuff. So it was, it was fine. And in the meantime, me and the social worker were just, you know, talking about the weather and various, you know, stuff that's going on. So, you know, it was fine. Now, the next time you do this, do you want my, my soundboard so you can go up there and be like, hey, crazy. Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I should. <laughs> That'd be really funny. I should plug this shit right into the lappy. Like, uh, well, you know, I, I've been having a real rough one. <laughs> 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 That'd be so ridiculous. You know, be amazing. what's really funny is, what's weird to me, but I understand it, is the fact that I have to go to the doctor's office to do this. It's like, you'd think that they could somehow, like, give me a login for this software to where I could just yeah. do it from home. You know, I agree. And luckily, my doctor's office is only, you know, right up the street. It's no big deal. Yeah, but, but still. still. Did you mention you have a full-blown recording studio set up and you could do no, this easily no, at home? You know, I don't like to brag. Um so, I mean, you know, she told me to get comfortable, but I was like, eh, I'm going to leave my shorts on because, you know, it's not my home. You know, that's a little weird. So You still had them on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> I had them on my head, but, you know. Oh, well, that's, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, basically I was doing like, you know, when dogs scoot across the carpet, I was doing that in the chair, but, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's, become, it's now your chair. Yeah, well, you got to get a good divot in there, <laughs> you know, for comfort. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, no, it was, it was, uh, you know, it, it went fine and everything. It was cool. You know, the guy asked me a ton of questions, which that's what he's supposed to do, you know, and, mm -hmm. uh, whatever. It looks like we're gonna, gonna do a little tweak, tweak a Rooney to, to my medicine in hopes of, uh, giving me some more energy. So, you know, just wow. math. Yeah. Just mountains of it. <laughs> no, uh, just all kinds of Coke. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here you go. He just hands me a backpack and it's just full <laughs> It's so much cocaine. Oh my! He's actually he's actually a dealer. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Well, your first part of your prescription's free, but after that comes to eat me. Hey, listen. I mean, I understand. Like what? No free rides. I get it. Exactly. Um, yeah. So that, like, that was it. Was different, you know, because even though I'm used to using Skype for the podcasts, it was still weird to talk to a doctor this way, <laughs> you know, rather than have yeah. him be in the room with me. But, you know, whatever. It's cool. It's like, I'm going to be going to a psychiatrist anyway, and if I can take part in a survey, maybe help spread telepsychiatry, you know, for other people and stuff, I, you know, why not help out? Well, it it seems like it could be like wave of the future, because if yeah, someone's like yeah. really feeling like hot garbage, if yeah. they can be at home and log on and actually talk to somebody like you and I were talking right now, yeah, I'm sure that would help a lot of people. Yeah, and that, I mean, and it exists. I mean, right now, it's a lot of it is that, like, insurances won't pay for it, basically, sometimes, and right. whatever. But, uh, you know, yeah, so I, I, so I was kind of, you know, and like I said, it was it was a little odd at first, but once we started talking, it was, you know, it's no different than talking to the guy in the room with me, basically, you know? Like, like is there, like, emergency service video chat like that out there, I wonder? There probably is, but again, I don't know if like insurances will pay for it, but if you had the money, you well, could probably I, well, I, I mean, not even like insurance-based, like say, you know, say John Doe 
is like, man, my wife left me. She took my kids. Yeah. Uh, I just lost my job. I think I'm just going to like blow my face off. Uh-huh. And then, you know, but instead of blowing his face off, he could hop online and chat with somebody immediately. Yeah. When they're like, dude. Yeah. You know, dude. Yeah. Uh- dude. <laughs> dude. And it'd be like, yeah, you're right, buddy. You're right, buddy. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. That's a good question. It probably does exist. You know, because it seems like that would be helpful. Yeah, I know. I know there's hotlines you can call and talk to people, but right. sometimes actually seeing somebody, yeah, it makes yeah, you know? it's it's a different connection. Yeah, yeah. I know there was an app. I remember. I don't know if you remember. We talked about it forever ago. Um, that that was kind of their goal was to make it to where you could talk to, um, you know, a professional kind of anytime you would need one type of a right. deal or, or whatever, or you could schedule appointments through it or whatever. And then you could even use like your phone and, you know, FaceTime basically or whatever. So I don't know. It, it, it probably does. If not, I'm sure it's coming, you know, because now, there's no reason not right. to, when we have the ability to connect to stuff via phone or, you know, our laptops and stuff, iPads, whatever. Here's what I need, Brian. Cause I got an idea. Uh huh. I need a working dog vest for my dog. Okay. I need a blind person cane. Okay. I need super dog sunglasses. Okay. And then I'm going to Skype psychology with cam girls, <laughs> thinking I'm talking to a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need all the blind people stuff? Well, because she'll look at me... And I'm hoping she'll be like, oh, my God, he's blind. Oh, okay. He has no idea. He's <laughs> okay, talking okay. to a naked girl. <laughs> All right. Because I was going to say, why Why would she get naked if she thinks you're blind? <laughs> she could just <laughs> pretend she's getting naked. <laughs> it's just to sell the fact that I have no idea she's not a cam girl. Right. What would or be, she is a cam girl, rather. The, the real gimmick here is that you wait about, like, 20 minutes in, and then you're like, why aren't you taking your clothes off? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because she's like, okay, I took my top off. My breastuses are hang- or flapping about, you know. Or well, other, no, I, you know, I mean, other sexy talk. talk. Like deep problems. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the greatest idea ever, Tony. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to get cam girls to be life coaches. Right, exactly. Fuck. I just heard cash registers right there. <laughs> Cutching. <laughs> be like, man, I had this crazy dream about my parents the last night. And she'd be like, what? Don't you want me to take my top? Like, why would you take your top off, Doc? Yeah. I mean, fine if it makes you comfortable, but I mean, I guess I, it's not that I could see anyway. Meanwhile, you're like, you got you got the clockwork orange things on your eyes underneath yeah. the glasses. I was gonna say you're like, it's not like I could see or anything. And she's like, well, your pants say differently. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, just talking about my problems is erotic. Becomes what was that? Uh, was that? In, road trip or whatever when it's like honey you're boner he's yeah. knocking stuff off the table <laughs> basically yeah <laughs> oh man <laughs> i like this idea those all seem like good ideas yeah it right? does you're right i i agree well i mean think about it. you know it didn't improve your mood too right definitely i mean and if you think of the money it's probably similar money for <laughs> you know <laughs> Prior. It might even be cheaper. Shit. I don't think insurance is going to cover this, though, unless they're actually certified, um, like, psychologists or, or whatever, though. Like, are you seriously making a claim for a cam girl? Well, yeah, she helped me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just picture that. You have, like, thousands of dollars racked up, you know, across a few months or whatever. Like, you get an email. Um, we're investigating this claims for this, quote, unquote, Dr. Candy Cane 69? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, well, she's on the up and up. Yeah, okay. she's very respectable in the world. Yeah. <laughs> like, are you sure this is, this sounds like a campsite? <laughs> like, oh, that she just uses that to connect with people, you know. Like, what is, I, I, we don't know about this whole video titties.com. <laughs> video titties. <laughs> No, no, I tr- yeah. trust me. They're medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> medicinal video titties. I want that to be the title <laughs> of the show, by the way, but it uh, can't for sure happen. cannot be. No. But for everyone listening, 
Medicinal video titties. And that's T-I-D-D-I-E-S. Yeah. Like, not titties. That's like, titties. That's the working title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, not the final title. It'll be one of those, like, those songs where they have one thing and then in parentheses there's the rest. So this one will be thrown rod, parentheses. <laughs> yeah. Medicinal video titties. Yeah. And Which again, you can put the parentheses in the description, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, good times. So, uh, yeah, so that was, that was my adventure today. Um, which was fun. And, uh, then I was, I was like, cause you know, at my doctor's office, there's also a dental deal upstairs. And, um, uh, so I called to make an appointment with that and, uh, I called it like 20 after four, you know? And, uh, right. You know, ah, 420. Ah, nice. No, no I, so they, I, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have any like pot sound effects. I know, I know. So yeah. I'm, um, I call it, and it like says like twenty after four, and I'm like, what? Uh, or I get the the voice message, like the answering machine, basically of the place, and I'm like, well, that's weird, you know. And they're like, uh, like thank you for calling, whatever, and you know our normal hours are blah 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 to oh, five o'clock, and I'm like, like, well, I should still have plenty of time. Why is nobody answering the phone? And they're like, just on a side note, I had that happen to me today, but we'll get to yeah, that. So I, I leave a message for them to call me back and they didn't call me back. And I even left them a message and was like, uh, Hey, I kind of, you know, I have a, a cracked wisdom tooth. I kind of starting to hurt a little bit. So I, you know, like to get them taken care of as, po- as quick as possible. And no, no it seems like a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's- have you tried a roller skate in a rock? Or a roller skate. An ice skate and a rock. <laughs> roller skate. I mean, it'd probably work, but, you know. No, not yet. I haven't tried that. No. Oh. So, one of these days. Yeah, but what's up with places leaving early? I must be nice. Yeah. Make you be able to make your own hours like that. Yeah. I mean, I know it was a Friday, so potentially that's really all it was. They just left early, but it just sucks. Well, because I, I made my way to the... Like, if for those lo- local who listen, Point Place, which is nowhere near to center Toledo at all. Ooh, shout out! Yeah. To go to one spot today. Yeah. And I and I, I pull in, I'm like, well, there's like a car in the parking lot. Never a good sign for a business. But I'm like, it's still a car. And I'm walking up and it says, office open Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. I was like, oh, perfect. And I about ripped my arm out of a socket trying to open the door. <laughs> right. Because these wait. cocksuckers left early. And did, it was like 4.20. Ah, uh, again. After you pulled, did you try pushing? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool to gifted. Yeah. Just walking into the door. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah. I, that's all I could think. It was like, wow, it must be nice to just be able to go, you know, it's Friday. I'm just leaving. Yeah. Let's all go home, guys. Yeah. Like, I must be beautiful. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could do it. You may not have a job on Monday, but, you that's know. That's true. You should be like, fuck it. It's 3 o'clock. I'm going home. It, very accurate. Yeah. Just take the work yeah. truck and everything. <laughs> I mean, I, I heard a podcast today. It's, uh, have you listened to, uh, nope. How I Built This? No. It's a NPR podcast yeah. and they interview, you know, a CEO of a company to talk about how they built their company. It's a pretty interesting podcast. Yeah. Well, I was listening to one of Jim Cook from Sam Adams. Right. And he was working a business job and apparently, and I did not know this, his family's been brewing for six generations. Hmm. Like, it's tradition in his family, the oldest son becomes a brewer. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So, he's the oldest son, and he was like, and he had this, like, shit business job, and he was, like, thinking, like, do I want to do this for the rest of my life? And he's, and he's like, and my first instinct was no. And then it hit him, like, do I want to do this tomorrow? <laughs> like, why would I want to do something I don't want to do? Right. Yeah. 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 And that's when he quit his job and decided to become a brewer, which his dad was like, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> But look where he's at now. <laughs> yeah. Looked like it turned out okay. <laughs> well, because uh, when his dad was brewing, he was, you know, apparently it was a time where the big companies were taking over and everyone just wanted to drink it, quote unquote, foamy water. Right. <laughs> and it, and his dad just kept going from brewery to brewery to brewery because pe- places were closing. Oh, right. You know, and then he was, was like, you know, that's why he's like, this is a terrible idea to go in this business right now. Yeah, that's understandable. But I think it worked out for him. Well, yeah. I mean, he was fortunate that. You know, they, they were doing pretty well when the craft beer boom hit, you know, and, yeah. And they've always made a pretty serviceable beer. So, you know. So, yeah, I don't know, side, side thing there. It was mm-hmm. kind of like it, you know, it, it made me go, huh, 
That's a good point. Do I want to be doing this tomorrow? It is. I mean, you know, obviously you have to consider, like, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, bills to pay and various stuff sometimes. But, yeah, it's like you can at least start putting a plan into place, you know. Yeah, for exactly, right. what you want to do instead and if it's feasible, you know. Right. Yep. Totally agree with that. For sure. Anywho, back, I'm sorry, I got... Back to your, back to your. No, stuff. it's cool. I understand. You're always making things about you. It's cool. Um, no. <laughs> so meanwhile, I uh... <laughs> right. <laughs> no, that's that's really all I got. I haven't, I, you know, not to make this the crazy life, but I, you know, my depression's been eh, for the last few weeks. You know that I think the nephew thing kind of pushed it a little further. I think it was that way. Well, that's understandable. Yeah, I was already you know? kind of going eh, about everything, and I think that kind of just you know shoved me a little bit that way. So. Yeah, whatever. Um, you know, but I'm, uh, otherwise, you know, I'm all right. It's not like I'm, you know, I'm not in a bad, w- too bad of a way, more than normal, basically. You know, so have you tried consulting with cam girls? No, not yet. I haven't. Uh, Let's see, that's where you're missing out. I'm taking notes right now. I'm writing Take it down. Take notes. Take notes. Yep. <laughs> so I, I know this is something I bitch about a lot on this program, mm. but it's a part of my life. So fuck y'all. <laughs> but. More nonsense at the YMCA, Brian. I love how you endear our listeners. <laughs> I, I, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, it could be the rum talking. I don't know. I don't think it's the rum talking. I think it's the asshole talking. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Speaking of assholes, there's this guy. God, I don't know if I want to be excited about this or no, terrified. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's not, not that kind of asshole. Like you weren't looking into that, Sauron's eye at any that's point. for the next story. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. But there's this guy, and I, you know, I get the idea behind circuit training. Yeah. Like, you're like, yeah, bench press, uh, pull downs, you know. Right. It's a good workout. Uh, hemorrhoids. Sweat on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But there's a guy there, and the guy's, in, you know, the, the dude's shredded. Sure. He's in great shape, and he does circuit training, which is fine, but it's, the the why I go to doesn't have the kind of equipment where you can really circuit train. So this dude, like, dominates three or four pieces of equipment. It's like, other people that want to work out on this stuff, oh, you can't. yeah, because he's quickly going between them. Yeah, all right. Yeah, exactly. Sure. You, you know, it's, it's, and it's just frustrating. Like, there was one time I was there, and I'm like, I grabbed some dumbbells. I'm doing, like, some, uh, you know, bench presses on them. Mm-hmm. And I went and put them back, and I went to go do something else. And because I watched him as I was, like, resting in between my sets. He went over, looked at the rack, and the ones he wanted, I had. Yeah, and as soon as I put him back, he immediately stopped what he's doing, scurried over, grabbed them, and put him by a bench. Oh, jeez, would have been funny if like, you would have just walked over and grabbed them. <laughs> yeah, like oh, here they are. Yeah, like <laughs> oh, I need these for my next set. <laughs> like just awkwardly time your your stuff to where you interrupt his. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it, it, you know, yeah. I know obviously it sounds like a real first world problem right here. Yeah. It but is so, though, you know, but Monday, it, I'm like, okay, here's, you know, I, I, cause I'm very much regimented. Like, here's my workout. Mm-hmm. I can't just go in and freestyle. If I don't have direction, I don't do it. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, and plus, like, you're not going to drag in cardboard with you every time. So, well, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> like so many times I could spin on my head. And stuff. I know, right? Yeah. I saw that burn on your head from the last time, you know. I know, right? That's why, cause I tried it on carpet. It was yeah, terrible. I told you it's a bad idea. Right. But so so now it's like well okay this guy's dominating this and I have limited time so I have to and then I make, then it fucks me up because I'm like oh shit what do I do what do I do <laughs> panic 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 you're just running around <laughs> this, this is breaking my routine it's like the idea of you just running around like screaming you know yeah, it's kind of how it feels like because I'm like fuck and I got to figure out what I'm doing now yeah that's like because you know I'm trying to like go oh, hey this day's like chess day this day's this day. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's, I don't know, it's stupid to bitch about, but I had to bitch about it because it's it's affecting me. It's not, though, because it's similar to, like, you know how you've mentioned before about, like, the people who stand right in front of the dumbbells because they got to get their selfie on, you know, and it's like, get the fuck out of the way. People are trying to use the stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's It's like, it's not just, this isn't your personal gym, sir. It's like, there's other people here. Yeah, it's like, I understand you want to do circuit training, but you're monopolizing multiple machines and stuff here. It's, you know. Yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Mm-hmm. You, just, <sighs> you just need to get on one of them when he's not using it and just get the biggest sweat on you can get and just not wipe it down. <laughs> uh, that's super rude. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 
Like enjoy well, that. My other, my other complaint is, and I've never seen this guy before. Mm-hmm. Once again, I don't. I mean, I know it's a locker room. There's going to be nudity. I yeah, get it. Right. But this dude was in the common locker area, mm. completely butt ass naked, c- completely lotioning up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, you know, I and I know he was swimming because he had like flip, you know, like uh, flippers and goggles by his locker. Yeah, and I like I get it after you get out of chlorine lotion up, but like right lotion up your your ass and your junk and throw your fucking drawers on, dude. <laughs> right? Yeah, and quit making eye or, contact. Or, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was it was yeah. It was just like, what are you really? What are you doing? <laughs> it wasn't awkward until he asked you to get his back. <laughs> Dude, I had an old guy do that to me. Not with lotion, oh, but God. he was like butt ass naked, and I, I think I was in my drawers because I was just getting dressed. <laughs> right. and he's like, ah, "Do I got something on my back? It feels like I got a bite or something." And you oh. know, just because I'm a nice guy, I'm like, "No, you look. Fu- it's fine. Yeah. I don't see anything. Right. Ah, get away! <laughs> stranger danger! Stranger danger!" Right. <laughs> oh man, uh, you know, your stories always make me want to go to the gym so much. It was so inspirational. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> now that I'm like doing it consistently, I really enjoy it. A seasoned veteran, but I if could you will. Do with, I could do without all the old naked guys. Right, right. That's well, my only complaint. Here we go. I have I have your solution. As as a problem solver, uh, I have your solution. Well, open your dictates. own open your own gym and only allow younger guys in it. That seems real uh, homosexual. <laughs> well, your problem was old guys. I just solved I, the problem. All the, I, I need some young taunt guys naked. <laughs> I solved your problem. <laughs> I'm sick of all this gray flesh. <laughs> Why can't we get some tight asses up in here? <laughs> oh, shit. Like, I, I, I hope. Right. I guess I should stop complaining. Yeah, it's like I hope all these guys don't uh, knock the wall down, you know. <laughs> Oh. oh man, I don't know. Lotion guy really threw me off. Uh, yeah, I imagine so. Cause yeah, yeah, it's just <laughs> like I like like I said, no, old guys getting naked, you know, getting dressed and shit. I get it, yeah. and like talkative old guy with Mike from Monsters Inc. body, whatever. <laughs> right, I get it, you know. But this guy was just like like for, like throwing his leg up, and it's like what? I, 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 well, you got to get in there. I just thought, you know, you got to do when you're lotioning. You got to get all the crevasses, dude. He was, I mean, I, like, I I turned my back, and all I could have hearing was the smacking of hands on skin. And right, and you were hoping he wasn't beaten off. <laughs> <laughs> Just tur- angrily masturbating. <laughs> turned your back on him, huh? I don't know, man. I think uh, locker rooms, a risky. in a lot of ways, locker rooms are similar to MMA fights, is you don't want to give anyone your back. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right there. I mean, not that you want to stare, but... <sighs> You know, that would be even weirder. Speaking of MMA fights, did you see the uh, the results of the Jones Cormier fight? I did not, Brian. I did not. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Jones ended up. Uh, it was Cormier had a good strategy. I really liked his strategy, which was he kept throwing uh, stuff back and kind of back and forth, which kept Jones back a little bit. Didn't right. allow him to get in with them sneaky elbows and uh, and whatnot. And uh, I, I thought for a while he was really kind of, you know, because if they're standing up throwing, I mean, you know, Cormier can throw and he's got a good chin, you know. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, it went on. I forgot what round it was, but uh, <clears throat> Jones ended up catching him, knocking him off balance, and then uh, started just, you know, uh, whooping him basically on against the cage. And I forgot who the ref was, but he stopped it. You know, I saw a couple people, oh, he stopped it early, but uh, he was beat. I mean, he he was, and Cormier even owned it. You know? It was at that point where it was like, they need to stop it, huh? It wasn't that bad, you know? It wasn't like right. he had his hands down and wasn't defending himself. He had his hands up, but it was still, like, you could tell he got rocked, got against the cage, and then Jones moved in for the kill, as he'll do, and <sighs> whatever. But, yeah, that's why I said, it's like, man, that's got to be disappointing for DC, because I, I thought he had a decent game plan, but that just shows you how how good Jones is. You know, you can take away his strengths and he still finds a way to beat you, you know? Right, exactly. Because through the first couple rounds, he didn't do a whole lot, you know? Really? Yeah, he landed a few shots, but it wasn't anything like, there was no, 
You know, he, I mean, even last time they fought, though, it wasn't like a domination by Jones, you know, until later. Right. So. Much, much later. Yeah. And then Jones, Jones won and then immediately started calling out Brock Lesnar again. So. I did hear about that. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I, I think the only way the fight happens is Jones has got to, I, I can't, Brock's not going to come down to him. I can't imagine, you know. So right. I would assume Jones is going to have to bulk, and they're going to either meet in the middle or they're going to have he's going to have to go up. I mean, dude, he Lesnar outweighs him by like forty pounds. Right? You yeah, know, it's insane. That's not a close amount of weight. I mean, that's a lot of weight. That's why I said unless Lesnar's willing to cut a bunch of weight, you know, I I just think it's odd because I mean. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Lesnar can really even stand up to him. No, just because Jones is so skilled. Yeah, uh, Les, Lesnar can wrestle him. You know, because you know Lesnar's like you know all NCAA champion, blah blah blah, wrestler and stuff. But uh, Jones is a better striker. His angles are better. Uh, he's he's squirrely you know he's got them sharp elbows and knees <laughs> <Good> old squirrely <laughs> and we know lesnar opens up quick <laughs> right you know? yeah so fair I don't, enough i don't i don't know i mean listen if it's on a card i'm in to watch it for sure well, yeah same here definitely I, I just i don't i know lesnar's a freakish athlete but i just feel like on paper this is all this is jones all day you know right unless yeah, like yeah. i said unless by him putting on weight he slows so significantly whereas lesnar's used to carrying that weight and he's fast as hell at that weight so yeah he's surprisingly sn- or sneaky not sneaky <laughs> surprisingly yeah. quick at yeah. that being that big right so i i don't know i i got a feeling this is going to happen though because i was listening to i forgot what podcast it was and they were talking a little bit about this about how um, how basically John Jones made a comment and it wasn't long after that, that Brock Lesnar like immediately had a comment and Brock Lesnar is not a guy who sits on social media, you know? Right. So it feels like somebody was, you know, like, okay, as soon as Jones says it, boom, we'll fire off the response. And it was basically the same thing after, uh, Jones beat Cormier was, it wasn't too long after that. And boom, here's Lesnar's response. So, you know, it kind of feels like maybe there's already been some talk and whatnot in the works. I mean, it's a huge money fight, you know? Right. Because even though Lesnar, I mean, Definitely. first of all, Lesnar would have to serve the rest of his suspan- his, his suspension, his suspension, his suspension, suspension, his suspension. Um, you know, he still owes whatever that body is, uh, six months of suspension. Um, Don't you mean suspension? Suspension. <laughs> <laughs> Turn left. Uh, so yeah, I'm like I said. If if I mean it, it's kind of a circus fight. You know, I mean it's it's not Mayweather McGregor circus fight, but it's a circus fight. You know, uh, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like I said, if they they announce it on a card, I'm like, yep. So yeah, and also oh. um, for the record, yeah, it, like the cyborg fight that was. In there, you know, Chris Cyborg was fighting for the title, and yeah. the other woman just basically kept her at bay for a little while, and then finally she just put her away. It's it's basically like a little like a lady going in the cage yeah. with a fucking like panther. You know what though? All the credit in the world. To, I can't think of her name. I feel bad because she was the champ. I she took the fight on short notice. Was willing to fight Cyborg on short notice, which seems like a terrible idea. Aside from the yeah. the payday, maybe you know. Um, but cause whoever, I forgot who the fight was supposed to be with Cyborg, but she basically, uh, from the way they described it, it sounded like she basically, uh, wussed out, like just refused to fight her. Really? Yeah. Which listen, I wouldn't want to fight her either, but <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, me, I mean, I, I don't think I'd want to fight her if I had a bat and a dark alley <laughs> right? to jump out of. Yeah, I know. Right. Uh, yeah. again, unless it's for the payday, cause you know, fight, fighting with her is going to elevate your payday, you know? For sure. I mean, it might not do much for your medical bills. But <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. She's a fucking beast. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, she's finally a uh, a champion in UFC. Champion. Champion, yeah. I I, uh, I can't believe I forgot to talk about this. Is it a suspension? <laughs> it's kind of. It's very, it has a very twangy. All right. Um, Monday. Monday. 
Monday, yeah. we went to the Monroe County Fair. Oh, really? Oh, really? Because our friends, and you, your friend too, Steve, mm-hmm. which you know, you went to the concert with him, and his yep. wife, Robin, are like, hey, there, she, this, there, here's how the setup went. Okay. We were like, Jeannie texts him, like, hey, we should hang out. Right. We should do something. Mm-hmm. So they got back to us, like, well, there's going to be a comedian at the Monroe County Fair. Do you, you know, do you want to come with us? We'll, we'll pick up the tickets he pays back. We're like, yeah, that's fine. Right. I ended up being Bill, uh, Bill Envall. Yeah. From Blue Collar County Tour, right? right? Mm-hmm. So we go to the fair. Uh, well, well, first off, how much do you think Bill Envall tickets are at the Monroe County Fair? You know what? I, I mean, I, I can pretend like I don't know, but you already told me. <clears throat> Did I tell you? Yeah, you told oh, me. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. I don't remember telling you this. Anyway. Okay, well. Because I guessed so, almost dead on, if you remember. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, I think I guessed like 45 or 50 bucks was my yeah, guess. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, we, we weren't expecting to pay that much for tickets, but Especially we Especially not at a fair. Usually the, the at entertainment fair. at a fair is usually like 20, 25 bucks for a, yeah. a name, you know. Yeah. We were like, ah, whatever, fuck it. You know, we, already, we already said we're going. We went. And I'm glad we went. Because, mm-hmm. well, one, we had a good time hanging up with those guys. Yeah. Um, Jeannie, believe it or not, has never been to a fair. Really? Which yeah, is weird just because, some... like, where we live, there's like a billion fairs. <laughs> yes. And it's just not something she ever really did. Oh, yeah. See, I mean, I, I, did, I was at a lot of fairs because, you know, my, we set up That's... and we were vendors in fairs for a while. So, you know. Right. But also, aside from that, I've been to plenty. We, you know, I haven't been to the Monroe County Fair in, oh man, I was probably a teenager the last time. I mean, early teenager, you know, like 13, 14. Right. But, you know, we went, I got myself a smoked turkey leg, which I, I saw, did the shit out of. I saw that, man. Uh, when I saw Dude, y- y'all post that, I was like, man, I need one of those. Well, here, here's what I'm going to do. Because turkey legs can't be that expensive. Okay. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to get a shitload of them. <laughs> and I'm going to throw them on my smoker, and yeah. we're going to have some sort of game night with fucking turkey legs. That sounds like a grand idea. Because the turkey leg there was delicious. Mm. It was also $10. Now, see, if you had asked me what my guess on the price on that was, I would have said probably 8 bucks. So, Well, okay. How about you think a roasted corn on the cob was from the same vendor? 4 bucks. That was 3 Okay. It was still like, I, okay. we were both like, we have a dozen years of corn at home that we got a dozen for $2. We're not buying, yeah. we're not paying $3 yeah. for your corn on the cob, that's you asshole. <laughs> Please tell me you said it that way, too. Well, that's what we said to each other. But, oh, right. but yeah, so enjoyed the turkey leg. We got this baked potato mm-hmm. that, you know, we're like, oh, we would need one of your baked potatoes. And we're like, well, what toppings do you want? And G you want all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so it's, it, was a, it basically looked like a, a it was a one pound baked potato. It was like a football that someone threw up on. <laughs> it, but it was, it was delicious, right? <laughs> but the the real disappointment was, it was I we went to the beer tent. Mm. Well, by tent I mean building. It was a building. Okay. And they're like, "Hey, buddy, it's like six bucks for a pint of Budweiser." And you have to buy tickets, and then the tickets are good for the beer. But you can only drink the beer in here. <sighs> we just left. We're like, fuck that. Yeah, amen. And, I, that. and before we left, I was like, I should take my flask and fill it up with, like, something. Because I don't have, you know, soda. I can do rum and Cokes, whatever. Mm. But I'm like, I don't, what if I get patted down? And yeah. Then, you know, and I'm like, I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. No pat-down process at all. To the point that Steve and I were like, if we had more time before the comedy show started... We would get our hand stamped, drive to the liquor store, and get a couple little pints of stuff and come back. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but so we, we went to the comedy show. A magician opened up, which he was all right. Nothing, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Right. You he just wanted okay. him to disappear. Gotcha. Basically. Yeah. But then uh, Bill Envall, which I, you know, I'm, you know, he's the, if you're not super familiar from Blue Collar Comedy Tour, he's the here's your sign guy. Yeah. He had and a TV like, show for I, a couple years, too. He did have a TV show for a couple of years, yeah. but all I could think is like, I really hope he doesn't have a whole barrage of here's your sign shit. Yeah. Like, please tell me he's evolved past that. Right. And he has. He yeah. only did like three of them at the very end because it, people obviously wanted it. It was like the, um, the last time I saw a, there was a Jeff Foxworthy stand up, and he only did like a few, you know, you might be a redneck thing. And right. I was like, you know, a lot of his jokes aren't terrible. You know, they're they're pretty good. He's a good comedian. But it's like you just – when he gets to that part, you're like, uh, enough of this crap, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like quit riding the same gimmick. 
So, and, yeah, I mean, the it. only thing I'll give him with his here's your signs he told is they're all stories that like of stuff that was inspired by things that happened. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, was yeah, which I appreciate because mm-hmm. I actually I, when he first started, I was like, eh, boy, because he was trying to be PG because of fair crowd. Sure, yeah. But he's the kind of comedian I like. He's a storyteller. Yeah, he's really so not. He, like, that whole group of guys is really not too dirty. I think that's part of why they made as much money as they did. Oh, I'm sure. You know? Although Ron White's pretty dirty. Well, Ron White definitely is dirty, but the rest of them, like, Foxworthy is pretty clean. He's pretty clean. And Larry the Cable Guy is, he's a little raunchy, but not really dirty, you know? Right. So, yeah. But I, I really, it was, he put on a good show, and he, he did, was up there for probably an hour and a half. Oh, wow. That's, that's yeah, a pretty he, he long set. He put on set. a long show. Yeah. yeah, he put on a long set, and it was, yeah, we laughed our asses off. Oh, we had a great cool. time. That's awesome, yeah. And then... It's always better when it works out that way than you pay any amount of money to see a comedian, and they're not good, <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Although I was fascinated by the fair crowd. Yeah. I'm, the well, fair crowd is great to watch. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, and especially, like, I was annoyed by people, because people brought cameras of amazing, like, lenses, yeah. and were just taking pictures of him on stage. <laughs> It's like, and I'm like, who's such a Bill Enval fan? They're like, I'm going to document this moment. <laughs> right. <laughs> but there was people all in front of me because I was watching them with their cell phones, camera. It was amazing. Yeah. And I'm like, this must be just a Monroe County Fair thing. Yeah. Well, south of the north, remember? <laughs> I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. But but then, and I can't believe I forgot about this. I didn't write it in my notes. Um, As we're leaving the comedy show, I was like, you know, it's... You know, I, I know it's a Monday night, it's a school night, but I'm super thirsty for a beer. Sure. I mean, again, got to stay hydrated. Like, sh- exactly. I was like, we should go find a bar and just have like a pint or two and then call it a night. You know, and Steve was like, or we grab a six pack, go back to my place, have a fire. But, you know, that turns into a whole another story yeah. that gets even later. Right, right. So I, I started pulling up. I'm like, well, you know, let's find some bars. And I pull up untapped because that's a good way to find good bars of craft beer because, you know, I want to find some delicious beers. Mm-hmm. And there's a, a bar out there called the uh, North, I think it's North State Bar and Grill or Sports Bar, something like that. And it's a verified venue, and they've got like 32 taps. Mm. And I was like, oh, shit, look at this place. And I show Steve, he's like, oh, yeah, they do car show. It's like 10 minutes from his house. Oh, nice. He's never been there before. What? Well, because he recently moved. But, oh, okay. So we walk in, he's like, I had no idea this place is this like this amazing place is this close to my house all these taps and then i look and they have a whole like locked cabinet full of bourbon and i spied the pappy oh right yeah that's where that came yes, from yes okay. that's where that was at and they yeah. had all three they had the 23 year old the 15 and the 10 year old pappy yep i don't remember if i posted the price you, of the 23 year old pappy i don't think you did i think genie did okay but sweet jeebus <laughs> $195 an ounce. That is nuts. Yeah. But I've never seen... Well, I saw the bottle of the 10... I think it was a 10 or 15... Yeah, no, it was a 15. I saw it at a liquor store up by yeah. my parents' cottage. Mm-hmm. But I've just... I've never seen them all together like that. And it was just like, holy shit. Yeah. Happy Van Winkle. Right. And I, I just... I mean, I want to try it. Not but I don't want to yeah. pay that much. <laughs> right. That's crazy. You know? I know. I'm the same way. I, I'd like to try it just to see what all the, the hubbub is about, but I just I just can't. I mean, $195. Think of how many bottles of good, just not great maybe, but good bourbon you can buy for that, you know? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So. That's what it's just like. It's so, I mean, if I had disposable money, I would like, oh, let's do it. Right. You know? Right. Or a but, ski mask uh, and, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it was, it was I mean, yeah, we had a great night with those guys, and hopefully we'll be hanging out with them more, and, and that bar is incredible. Yeah, that seems like the new gimmick, though, is a bunch of taps and a bunch of bourbon. That seems yes. to be, a, a lot of bars are really kind of, I've noticed, I've seen a few bars now, like, what is it, um, oh, what do you call it? It used to be Burger Bar, or whatever. You know, oh, uh, Bar 419 or whatever it's yeah, called now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, They were, like, their advertisements now basically talk about, you know, burgers, craft beer, and bourbon. bourbon. You know, that's, yeah, like, their gimmick exactly. now. And it's, like, I've seen a few others, you know, uh, pushing that agenda, which makes sense. And, listen, obviously, I have nothing against it, <laughs> you know. Well, and I, I'm in this place, because it was a verified venue yeah. for Untapped, they had, a mon- like, well, monitors, giant TVs up. They just had their tap list scrolling. Yeah. But on the bottom was like a, it looked like a news scroller. 
but it was recent untapped check-ins there. Oh, Because I, I checked in my beer and I looked up. I'm like, Hol-. I'm like, that's me, <laughs> you know? Huh. That's interesting. I was like, oh, wait. Yeah, I was like, oh, it must be because it's verified. That's Skynet! Cool. Skynet! <laughs> yeah, but that's kind of how it felt. <laughs> it's like, Tony, we see you. <laughs> like, oh, geez. Yeah, because I look up and it was just like Tony H. And then it was the beer I was drinking. I was like, the fuck, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, untap. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah, all right. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, right? Sounds fancy. Cool bar, though. Yeah, very cool. And they had a great pack. I mean, the inside was, yeah, there was a crowd. It was Monday night, and there was this crowd of people in there. And every time the door would open, the server would come out to, like, see if we were okay. She just, you know, you hear the crowd, Woo! We're like, whoa, it's fucking Monday. What are we doing? Right. You know? It's like, calm down. Yeah. It's like it's a school night. What are you doing? Uh, that's exactly. We were out there just, you know, like, relaxing and having some pints. It was great. Yeah. But, oof. Getting rowdy inside. I, for sure, they were getting rowdy inside. Yeah, I don't know. We need more bars like that around here, though. Uh, yeah, sounds all right to me. I mean, that doesn't sound that know, far right? from here, though, either. But not really. I not, mean, it's not like somewhere we're gonna go. Yeah, not somewhere we're gonna go and just at the average drinking night. But if we're in the area, you know. Well, I, that's what I was telling Steve. I'm like, you know, Steve, the next time you have one of your bonfires, seems like a really good place to run out and get some milk. <laughs> Yeah, do. <laughs> like, yeah, I've heard that phrase before. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, Brian, my rum and ginger ale's gone. Well, that's a damn shame is what that is. Should have made two of them. <laughs> yeah, get your uh, rum, rum and ginger math going. Right. Yeah. I don't ginger. know, though. If you have two, do you move into three, or is it a fine line at two? And then if you have three, know. does it become four? Or? Anyway. Ah, uh, beer Definitely. Math. Um, I don't know where we're at time wise, but I do have another thing. Oh yeah, go ahead. We have plenty of time. Okay, we're only at three so, hours. Yeah. Oh, perfect. No. <laughs> so I was perusing the YouTube's earlier today. Right, porn. Got it. Yeah, and um, as I'm scroll, scroll, scrolling down through my feed, looking at shit, were you aware that Hollywood, fucking Hollywood, Brian, mm-hmm. with, with Bruce Willis? Is remaking Death Wish? Yeah, I've seen a lot of really strong reactions to it online. <sighs> I mean, it's just goddamn rich cunt. <laughs> That's all I can say. Not a fan. I, I just, I why would you? It's like a classic and stuff. It's Charles Bronson avenging his family. Yeah, I watched the trailer and it's like. I'm not feeling it. Yeah. What, <sighs> that seems to be most of what I've seen. It's either that or it's woo kind of response, you know. I just uh, so. leave it alone. They could have called it anything else because it looks like, is from what I understand, it looks like Bruce Willis' family gets killed in Chicago. Sure. And he avenges, you know, goes on. He becomes the Punisher, yeah. basically. As one does, yeah. So why not call it Bruce Willis? Anything else besides Death Wish? <laughs> Bruce Willis in another Bruce Willis movie? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Shooter McShooterson. Ooh, that's a good title right there. Well, it's in Chicago. Call it Chicago on any day. <laughs> Ouch. Also correct. Because fucking war zone. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Punisher, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like what? He, if he wants to, you know, make another movie of something that's old, make another Hudson Hawk for me. That'd be incredible. Hudson Hawk 2, Electric Boogaloo. Hudson Hawk 2, it's not Death Wish. Yes. Boom. Nailed it. Damn <laughs> <laughs> rich cunt. <laughs> it's just like... Yeah, I know. I know. It's so disappointing that they remade that. Yeah. You know, it's really funny because, again, I know why they do remakes, because a lot of them tend to make money, plus you introduce a concept to a new generation, blah, blah, all those reasons and stuff. But it's so weird how, like, whenever you talk about remakes with people, you ever notice most of the time they're just like, why? You know? like Yeah. <laughs> you don't hear most people that's, going, I can't wait. <laughs> you know? that's I, I am very much in the why category. Yeah. That's why I said why I get not it, just, but, meh. Why not just go be like, hey, it's the... 
because I don't even know when Death Wish came out, but I know it's old as fuck. Right, 1840, I think it was. Yeah, exactly. So we'd be like, it's the 140th anniversary of Death Wish. <laughs> We're re-releasing it to the theaters. Right. In glorious HD. And I know it's... Exactly. And I know it's probably dated. Yeah. But still. Yeah. and that I, I don't I, care if it's dated. I will say this. that I do understand it for that reason. You know, that when you have movies that are really dated sometimes... That you're just like, ooh, this is brutal to watch now, you know? But, I don't here, know. Okay, for you. here you go, real quick. Death Wish was okay. released 1974. <laughs> God damn, it's an old movie. Yeah, thanks. It's four no, years. I'm in 70s too, uh, my friend. No, four, four years older than me. Jesus, that is old. Uh, <laughs> anyway, right? what were you saying? Here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. Do they ever remake The Godfather? Is a cinema classic. It's a staple. It does make you wonder because there are certain movies that haven't been like there's no there's no remake of Citizen Kane. There's right, you know, Gone with the Wind hasn't been redone. Um, right. you know, like that kind of stuff. So Casablanca hasn't been redone that I know of. You know, so it does kind of make you wonder if there are certain movies I mean, that they're just certain, like let's there leave are that movies alone. that are untouchable, right? Like the Untouchable. No, <laughs> I get yeah. it. Um, yeah, I wonder that too. I've wondered that a few times because there's a lot of those movies that, you know, like some of the movies wouldn't, like to remake Casablanca, you would have to update a lot of it because Definitely. of the setting and all. Same with Citizen Kane. Can you imagine making a movie about newspapers or with newspapers now? It doesn't, it doesn't work, you know? Yeah. Like it exactly. wouldn't feel modern at all. So it'd be kind of pointless. Gone with the Wind, given the time, they could redo and make a, you know, epic mountain of shit out of it. So. You know, um, or Wizard of Oz or anything like that. I, I, it just, it does feel like maybe there are a few movies that whether it's like, well, it won't translate or whatever. And those are actually the ones that bug me more is when you tra- take the original story and you have to really tinker with it to make it work now, you know? Right. It's why I hated Romeo and Juliet, the DiCaprio one. I, I can't stand right. that movie because it just, it just loses so much for me. So I know a lot of people love that movie, but I mean, I'm admittedly not the biggest Shakespeare well, fan. That's anyway. fair. But yeah, anyway, <clears throat> I don't know. It's a good question. What do you think? It just it just makes me wonder. There, there's got to be a they select movies that if they were to remake them, mm-hmm. people would probably burn Hollywood dead to ground. Right, like Pootie Tang. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like there, Hollywood's gone. Yeah, <laughs> Hiroshima, that bitch. Right, you know, it does make you wonder though, too. Even in like, but I, you know, I... good. Uh oh, you there? I'll say I. Okay, right. I, I'm not a fan of remakes in general. Not the work over. Yeah, well, really over. You know, all this talks of remakes got me thirsty. So we had to take a break. So I go. A beer. It's true. We were talking, and then Tony was like, "God damn it, shut it down!" <laughs> and he just threw everything I'm and went so and got a beer. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, we're actually this is like six, this is actually like six hours later than before because Tony had to, you know, pick his studio back up. So it's true. He destroyed it's true. it all. I evacuate my bowels. Oh well, <laughs> that's what took most of that time. <laughs> yeah. When I panic, I act like a squid. <laughs> right. <laughs> For five and a half hours. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's horrible. Yeah, that sounds horrible. God, can you imagine that? Yeah. Oh, terrible. Some people call it dysentery. I call it defense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I found a new way to fill the moat. <laughs> <laughs> shit moat. Who wants to cross shit moat? <laughs> right? I mean. It's true. It's certainly a dis- Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Back to movie remake. Right. I'm I'm kind of a firm believer that re- movie remakes just shouldn't happen. Okay, like it's been done. That's what we should have as a Q of the Make w. some new shit. Our Q of the W should be: What's your favorite movie remake? <laughs> None of them. <laughs> None. There's got to be one no. somewhere. Not that I can think of. No. All right. Maybe we I should. Just, every time they're like, all right, right when it's like, oh, it's a. It's, Write it, write it down as a, a potential Q of the W. That way we can force... Fuck it. We'll, we'll do it this week, man. 
<laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> Give us some time to think about it at least. Okay, you want to do it next week? Yeah, let's do it next. Okay. All right. Write <laughs> down, or I will forget. I know that's why I said forget. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I, I just I, I'm a I, in my camp, my personal little like my little Viking village I've built in my brain mm-hmm. is like I don't movie remakes are no bueno. Yeah, because it's just like like they could have changed one little plot. That, okay, they didn't have to change anything with the new Death Wish. Just name it something else. Yeah, I feel like you're you're like banging Bronson's mouth and <laughs> corpse mouth. Well, you know, I think with some of them, too, I think you could actually kind of like, uh, it didn't, I don't think it went as well as they hoped with like the Born Identity series, you know, like when they read, when they had, uh, Jeremy Renner as, right. you know, because the concept was similar to James Bond, which is, it's not the person's name, it's the agent name, you know, yeah, essentially, right. or number, um, so it's like I, you know, they can do that and tell different stories. That I would have less of a problem with. But like, like James, the James Bond series, I've never had an issue with. Right. <clears throat> you know, yeah. because well, although with the new movies, they're almost remakes. Yeah, it's true. Because like, oh, Casino Royale, that's already been a movie with cheese, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But it's just you know, and for some reason, James Bond never bug, bugged right. me. What's really going to bug you is when they start really hitting like our generational like wheelhouse movies you know yeah like when i'm you know when i'm in my mid 40s yeah and it's like you know coming soon to theater the goonies and yeah. i'll be like what and right. i'll be loading a deer rifle and get yeah. in my car or uh they're like hey come in this fall reservoir dogs you know oh good lord that just the yeah, hour like <laughs> you remember this from the 80s we're going back to the future <laughs> like, yeah. oh, you fucking <laughs> oh, be, here's what it'll be Goddamn rich cunt. <laughs> yeah. you're getting a lot of miles on that one today <laughs> well it's appropriate because death wish <laughs> <laughs> i like this it's just it it just bothers me man yeah i understand that's why yeah, I and said- they did it with tv oh let's bring back the odd couple yeah that worked out real good <laughs> He got a couple seasons. Good job for a Matthew Perry yeah. for a Matthew Perry vehicle. That's a big success. Like post Friends, Matthew Perry. You know. Well, yeah, fair enough. Most of his stuff gets about four like, episodes. Okay. How would you feel, Brian, if they remade the Golden Girls? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah, it is one of those things that it, it was. Uh, there's some shows that are just great in their time. You know, and they just wouldn't, right. wouldn't work if you did them again. Like Married with Children. If they were like, we're going to reboot Married with... The, I think there's been talk of, like, uh, doing kind of like a spin off deal with David Faustino. And I'm like, no. No. First of all, he's a terrible character. And no. Like, he's the one I hated the most on the show. Aside from Marcy, probably. You know? So it's like, please don't don't make a bunch of, you know... Old Bud does why not would, interest me. Young Bud was funny. Would, you know who interests me? Air Bud. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Air Bud did. Uh, Five w- Golden Retriever playing listen, basketball? I, I'm in. I was, can remake that any day. I was more of an MVP, most valuable primate, but, you know, what I'm <laughs> type. Well, that was sick. Speaking of friends, what was the friends character with the monkey that skateboarded? Uh, the monkey was Marcel, wasn't it? I don't remember. I don't even know the name of the movie. Oh, I thought you meant. Oh, oh, Ed, you're talking about Ed, right? The one with, um... I don't... Fuck, what's that guy's name? He played Joey on the show. Oh, Ma- Matt yeah, LeBlanc. just call him Joey. Matt LeBlanc. The he one... doesn't have a real name. He's forever Joey. <laughs> the one where the guy's in the <laughs> the gorilla suit? Yes, yeah, like, like it was basically Tony Hawk in a monkey suit. Yeah, it was so terrible. Like, but it's, like, not always that person. Like, sometimes <laughs> it's, like, a monkey or an ape, and then other times it's the person in the suit. Yeah. So. It was a monkey before Animal Control came in, and they realized yeah. they were staple gunning the monkey's feet to the skateboard and shoving them <laughs> down hills. That was, I just remember that was so ridiculous that someone put that in, uh, when I worked at one of the video stores. And I just remember that I was like, as soon as I get home, I have to call Tony and tell him about this. Cause it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> This is incredible. As I remember in telling you, put it in at work, I believe, because or something, because I think it was like you just have to see this, but it, it's not worth watching at all. You know, the movie's awful. But anyway, uh, yeah. 
But so yeah, in, in general though, remakes are. Yeah. Well, we'll obviously we'll talk about this next week. We'll get into detail yeah. when we for the Q to dub. Yeah, we'll dig in deep, right? So deep, oh, shit. Don't make me do it works. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I know. I'm gonna have to really put some thought into this to try to find something that I'm gonna want to put on this list. <sighs> yeah, same here. Because yeah. I mean, I don't a favor. I'm I'm gonna have to Google some shit, right? Because there might be a movie I love and I didn't. Even realizes a remake that's what i'm figuring one of us is going to fall and then into I'll probably shit out of it <laughs> yeah it's just on principle from that point forward yeah <laughs> like true grit hmm. it's a remake i do like the i do like the remake but the original is also good yeah i'm well that yeah i'm just saying it, it wasn't terrible the remake is good though yeah. that's what i'm saying hmm I mean, I'm not saying that'd probably be my favorite. Point, it was like shot for shot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's one of those few movies where they didn't really change a whole lot. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. I have to do. I have to do some research on this one, which is interesting. Yeah, because we never research anything. I know. On the show. I know. It's what's going to happen is we're going to come in here, sit down next week, and we're both going to be like, ah, I forgot to look stuff up. So <laughs> it's probably true. Yeah. So all right. Well, uh, you got anything else? Not currently. Something just might randomly pop into my brain. Yeah, you know, you'll have that. Yeah. I uh mm-hmm. yeah, I don't like uh, the fair stuff did. Right. Yeah, it certainly did. I don't have anything else. Oh, you know what I do? I had two two notes right here that I, I almost ignored. First of all, Dear um you and I already you. talked about this a little bit before we recorded, but uh um I started listening to the Chip Chipperson podcast this week uh, yes. and have proceeded to marathon it to where I'm almost right. Not that there's very many episodes and the episodes are all probably what 45 ish minutes and under pretty or 50 minutes and under something like that. The, um, the, the deeper you get into the episode, the, the deeper you get into the episodes of the podcast, the longer they seem to get. Cause yeah. at first it seemed like, well, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. A lot of them were like 25, then, 28 minutes. Yeah. And then people are like, we love Chip Chipperson. Yeah. Um, and all his hijinks. It's, if you're a fan of the comedian, uh, Jim Norton, which we are, um, it's, it's yes. a gimmick. He's, it, he used to, he, like, he started that on, like, Opie and Anthony, right? Like, or. Uh, it's apparently something he just does in his personal life. Oh, okay. I thought he did it, like, on the and show then, and, and stuff. Then, no, it's something he just would do. Oh, And okay. then it came to the radio. Yeah. Because people are like, what, are, like, because I think he's a little crazy, yeah. Norton, mm-hmm. and he and he has all these characters that he just does. Yeah, but he it's so- he's leading a podcast, but he his character makes just terrible jokes a lot of times, and he's just goofy. And I I don't really know the best way to describe it. You how would you it's, describe it? I would describe it like if there's a podcast hosted by a funny, mentally challenged man who was molested heavily as a child. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, but they yeah. have they have a uh, someone call in each week, and we're pretty sure that they're not really in on the joke. <laughs> so, you know, as they're interviewing them, they're you know throwing in random comments right. and stuff. And anyways, it's I've been just laughing myself stupid at this over the last few days. So uh, yeah, I I it, it like I said, it's it's not something that you're going to sit down and ponder great points of the universe after listening to, but uh, you know. The dumber it gets, the funnier it is to me. Not at all. Yeah, you know, so, anyway. Uh, the other thing that we got to talk about. I, I think you have to have a very specific number to listen to it. Yeah. Jeez. Look. Skype sucks. It really, really <laughs> sucks. Yeah, it does. Uh, so, anyway, we'll just use that as a moving forward point, I guess. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about. Because it's that time of year, my friend. Last night uh, was the first preseason NFL game of the year, which... Oh, shit, son. I proceeded to not watch because I had a terrible migraine. So, um, Well, plus preseason. Yeah, and it's, neither team was the Lions, which is my team, so I didn't really have a huge reason to want to watch it. Right. Um... But yeah, it's that time of year for the return of Dude Mountain. Dude Mountain. Uh, I, 
know. Everyone's everyone's been getting tingly in anticipation, knowing that it was God damn right the time to you know attempt to ascend Dude Mountain. Uh, if you don't, I'm aroused right now. It's crazy. <laughs> and then we talked about Dude Mountain, <laughs> right? Uh, for those Still not got this fantastic music, going. I know I've, I forgot about it until like uh, <laughs> I saw you kind of you know getting ready to play something. I was like, oh yeah, Betty's still got that. Um, for Fuck those, yeah, I do. For those who don't know, uh, Dude Mountain is our uh, we do a little a little fancy football just for some funsies and bragging rights and what. Wait, have you. did you say football? I did. On the icy field. <laughs> I still have this music too. Oh God, yeah, the old NFL, I love NFL classic music. I know, right? <laughs> it's, it's the greatest. So good. I know. Um, we do a little. Want to go like go outside and like start throwing hits on people? That's fine. Go ahead. Get some pads. <laughs> That's actually a clip I'm going to pull. You ever hear the Tracy Morgan, Doug Flutie clip? No. Oh my God! I'm going to pull some clips for Dude Mountain for that. Okay. He's like, you're not Doug Flutie. Get some pants. Look at the game tape. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> nice. Um, I just want that look at the game tape rant. Yeah, that's a good one. For, for Dude Mountain. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm in. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we run a little fantasy deal here where, uh, you know, it's free to play, and we just do it mainly for bragging rights uh, and such. And uh, uh, it's basically we pick we pick the winners each week against the the spread, if you will. And, uh, yeah, so if you're interested, uh, hit us up at salty underscore, or, geez, well, you could. But either uh, DM us on the Twitters at salty underscore language or uh, send an email to saltylanguage at gmail.com. And uh, once I get everything going, I'll add you to the to the list. I think if you were in it last year, I'm pretty sure I can just uh, restart the deal and send an email to everybody. But if not, I'll try to contact oh. everyone. I'll uh, throw something up on the Facebook too. Yeah. Now, uh, we'll talk about it later. Never okay. Mind. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So Hi anyway, dog. yeah, like I said, if you're uh, interested in uh, joining us in that this year, uh, you know, hit us up. Say hey. It's always a good time. We uh, talk a bunch of shit on the show. Yep. And I, I think we should. Um, I kind of feel like we should make like a Dude Mountain Twitter group so we can talk shit amongst ourselves. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Once we get it going, because it's like. They're, they have a chat box within, you know, the league, but mm-hmm. nobody really uses it. Yeah, it's yeah. I'm not a fan. Stop licking your dog veg. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Kind of want to go back and isolate that. <laughs> Put that on your soundboard, Mister. <laughs> well, it's like I'm sitting here trying to talk. I'm trying to talk some amazing football stuff, and out yeah. of, out of the corner over here, you're... <laughs> it's like Jesus, dog. I know yeah. you got a big T Rex mouth, but settle down. That's that's terrifying. She's, I know she's adorable. Oh my! <laughs> right. Ah, uh, so yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, free contact us if you want to play. So, or don't. Yeah, dude, mountain, dude, mountain's incredible. Yeah, we had a lot of fun last year. So uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. All right, that's that's it. That's all. Those are my uh, my two notes that I had. So beauty. Well, you're ready to get in the cute dubs, then. Oh, I think we are. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, so last week we asked you, what imaginary friend would you choose for the rest of your life? I got a few on the Facebook face pages. Right. Um, Ashley, our pal from trivia. Mm-hmm. She would like to have the Goblin King from Labyrinth as her imaginary well, friend. I mean, that kind be Plus, she gets the goblins. Oh, okay. Which I assume she means that dick. <laughs> I'm going to resist making a goblin joke there. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, our friend of the show, Big Dev, he says, hands down. It has to be the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Ooh, a hype good. man only I can hear. It would be awesome. I'd do stuff just because Jimmy made me sound like a god among men. Well, it's not It's not as good if other people can't hear him, though. That's, I agree. I mean, what good's I a mean, hype man if nobody... South, yeah. It, mouth of the South is a good choice, but you're right. If yeah. no one else can hear him, it's not as good. Yeah. Unless he can smack people with his bullhorn. That would be okay. I'd allow that. 
And he's, okay. I, I will say yeah. this too. One, the biggest thing would be, I, I would also like to be able to see him if he's Dev's imaginary friend. I can't, I understand, but it'd be fun to see what jackets he would come up with with Dev's likeness on them. Oh, that would be amazing. Like, I'm picturing a that, lot like, of those. Like, picture Dev in a cowboy hat yeah. floating in the lake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or other sensual pictures of Dev as, you know, we've seen uh, him make poor comic artists have to draw over the time we've known him, you know. Yes. Very Dev Barella Dev? Dev Barella? Yeah. <laughs> of course. I mean, you always have to yeah. go for the sexiest ones, you know, nice kimono sure. one, you know, good times. Right? Yeah. Now we're talking. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Matthew McDonough of uh, Waffle Sunday Bod. Mm -hmm. He says, if I didn't want much, I'd go for Navi. It'd be over quick. I'd gladly accept death at that point, which Navi, if you don't know, is from the Legend of Zelda series. Mm. Annoying little cunt fairy. (laughs) Now, if I wanted a million years of audio pleasure, Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Captain Picard as an invisible friend might be good. Especially if he's playing that flute, you know? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what if it's sexy Picard in his robe? Nice. <laughs> that's a pretty right. short robe. I mean, that's it not. Is. I mean, it's not it's a short. It's almost like a central dev command. I was going to say, it's not quite that short, but it's pretty close. Yeah. yeah. Times were a little different then. You couldn't be as sensual as you wanted to in those days. Although, oddly true. enough, it's supposed to be in the future. <laughs> so, I don't know. It really is. Know it is. It, yeah. But the future still is open to sexy robes. Right, right. <laughs> like, I, look at me now. I am the captain. <laughs> like, you tell him look at him because he doesn't want you looking at the tip of his little his little weenus hanging on oh, the sure. robe. And you know it would be, yeah. His, his little captain. Right, especially because he's constantly yawning and stretching. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Boy, I wish somebody would beam me up. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like Captain, John Luke. Put your arms down, please. <laughs> yeah, good Lord, I can see your Earl Grey. <laughs> Nice. Nice. And for the record, the carpet match it. No. <laughs> Just got the bald He's, like, uh, He's got the cul de sac. It's <laughs> like, Council of Troy, engage, and then point to the crotch. <laughs> yeah. Well, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Make it grow. <laughs> wasn't that, didn't we do that? I think that's the name of a, an episode, actually, wasn't it? <laughs> if not, it should be. No, I mean one of our episodes. Yeah, not. I know. I'm, okay. I'm just saying, if not, it should be. I, I, say, I can't. Re- do we've we've got 314 episodes in, underneath true. our belts. That's true. You're right. It's almost like a, a Picard dick hanging down underneath our robe oh of episodes. Wow, that's uh, you know, if you're going to talk about old man dick, we'd have to go all the way back to you know Turkish taffy balls. Turkish Daffy Balls. Which was like our this what, true. third episode or something like that. <laughs> you you think they would figure that out in the future? Yeah. Yeah, you would think so. Like, like, like this, that little scanner thing that Doc Crusher would scan people with and be like, oh, you've got AIDS. Let me fix that real quick. <laughs> you think they could just like run it over your balls and it shrinks them right up? Yeah, you would think so, but no, nah, I guess not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. Doom, doomed to forever have Turkish taffy. Yeah, yeah. It's the one thing they couldn't couldn't cure. Right, exactly. What a shame. All right. I, but that's what I got on the Facebooks. Oh, okay. That's not as many as I had hoped. <laughs> right, same here. All right, so I've got a few, or a couple, a few, whatever, over here on the tweeters. Uh, sorry, i got to find it here. Uh, Heno my co-host on the crazy life and pal uh, says he'd have Gimli son of, I forgot how to say it. Gloin, I believe it is or glowing out, oh, whatever. I don't care. Nerds will figure it out as my imaginary friend for the witty banter and his ax. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. Of course. Heno wants a dwarf <laughs> naturally. Nice. I like it. Um, mm-hmm. uh, at Mr. Jackal, our pal Steve said, Mr. Meeseeks, I don't think any explanation is necessary. <sighs> See, I have to I have to ask the questions on the Meeseeks, though. Because once he accomplishes his task, he goes away. Do you have to keep pushing a, the button on the box to get a new imaginary friend? Or That would be pretty funny. Right? Or does he just never go yeah. away, which means he's just going to want to kill you and or himself the whole time, as we saw in the episode? 
Hmm. Um, because that could be funny, but also I would tragic. sure hope that he just also terrifying. Yeah, exactly. So I, I would sure hope he just has a me seeks box and makes imaginary friends. Okay, and then once he helps you with whatever it is, he just goes away. Yeah, because otherwise that'd be kind of cruel. I mean, maybe, maybe yeah, definitely maybe you don't Steve's want to that kind of guy. I don't know. <laughs> me seeks lives matter. <laughs> oh God. Um, shit, I know there was another one here. Where the hell did it go? Hmm. Dang it. I hate when this happens because, you know, because that's, like I said, I, I know we have another one here that I'm pretty sure was from Matt and I can't find it. Get lost in the Twitterverse. It does. Yeah. It's not tough for him to. All right, Tony, uh, keep everyone entertained while I find the other one. Yeah, da 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 da. <laughs> yeah, da 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 da. Hey there, uh, gang. Uh, I'm full of Roman beer. Okay. Uh, actually, I, I forgot. I, there's another one here from uh, Jeff uh, from Hobie. Uh, he said yeah. B.A. Baracus, the Mr. T version from the 80s. That's incredible. Yeah, that would be interesting. You know, although he doesn't yeah. fly unless you drug him, so, you know, make sure you keep that in mind. Dang it, I cannot find this. I swear right. there's another one. That's a great idea. Mm. Yeah, this really sucks. I can't find it. I, I could have swore Matt sent one in, too, unless maybe I was reading something else. <sighs> well, I feel bad now. So, uh Yeah. Well, well these, these sorry. things unfortunately happen. Sorry, Matt, if you sent one in, um, I don't know what the hell happened to it. Uh, and then in, via email, I got one from uh, Cheeto Bandito. This says, sidekick for life. I can't think of anyone that is living, dead, or imaginary that I would want by my side 100% of the time for the remainder of my days. He's a loner. Not even Chester Cheetah? <laughs> I like it. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. He's a fucking radical guy. See True. his Ray Bans he's always wearing? Yeah. Ain't easy being cheesy. Right? Mm-hmm. Ain't easy being cheesy. Yeah. Cheeto knows. Exactly. So, yeah, I guess uh, I, I, I guess that's it. Well, so I got a Q to W that because I was completely unprepared when we started recording. Yeah, you were. I once again got from Ask Reddit. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. It's, um, what food, re- well, I should say, Reddit user needs similar music, asked. What food were you excited to try, but were then disappointed by? Whoops. Mm-hmm. Uh, excited mm-hmm. to try, and then disappointed, huh? Yes. I think this is kind of a tough one. Yeah. You know, it's funny because, like, one of the first ones that kind of pops into my head that probably will be my answer for now would be, um, like, mac and cheese pizza. Because I like macaroni and cheese. Oh, that's a- I like pizza. But together, I don't know, it just doesn't do enough for me, you know? So, not that it's bad. It was just, that's- it didn't live up to the hype. That's fair. That's yeah. a good one. So I think that, that's probably going to be mine, I guess. Um, I know this is kind of a goofball one, but I'm having a hard time coming up with one here. But I'm going to go with, at the beer stube where we do our trivia, mm-hmm. I got I got wings, right? Oh, yeah. And they have a, they have a sauce. It's called Fuck Your Face Hot. <laughs> right. And I'm like, bitch, I've been through the Hot Ones pantheon of sauces doing the you know, RIP Passive by Podcast, doing the Passive by Podcast Hot Wings Challenge. Yeah, Let certainly. me see what this fuck your face hot is all about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it was extremely disappointing because yeah. it was just hot to be hot and it had like no flavor. Yeah. If that if that truly was fucking your face, you know, you you didn't get to finish. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah exactly. Right? It did, though. Yeah, it was. It, yeah, boy, did it. Yeah. It Finished did, in disappointment. Didn't even throw a towel at you afterward. <laughs> No, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I was not impressed. And I was actually looking forward to trying it. Yeah. 
You certainly that, were. That's the most recent one I can think of. Yeah, that that makes sense. I could see that one. All right. So yeah. there you go. What, what's the question again here, just to repeat? Uh, um, so once again. I make sure I got the right sound board pulled up. <laughs> once again. Oh, wait. God damn it. Hey, thanks for the answers. I like what you got. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, like I said. Oh, uh, what food were you excited to try, but were then disappointed by? Yeah. All right. And I'm looking for the, ah, God, it's too far Show away. me what you got. This is why I shouldn't drink in podcasts. <laughs> ah, you've been worse. <laughs> I have been way worse. <laughs> you've been, so have I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's do, let's just do this. We've definitely done some beer drinking and hell raising yeah, on this show. Or whiskey drinking. Or whiskey drinking. <sighs> yeah. Uh, what a blur. Uh, yeah. So. Ball Chica <laughs> and hell raising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. The Tsar of Beers. Um, the official Russian b- uh, beer of the Salty Language Program. Goddamn right. Right. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's the Q, the W. I think we got all our, our business handled here. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, just ask you to go to saltylanguage.com and uh, check out the all the stuff. All the uh, episodes are available there. Um, you know, the enthusiasts that we've done, um, whatever, the show links will be there. And, uh, you know, uh, while you're there, maybe, uh, maybe take a swing over to the Patreon link and, you know, have a look, see at what we, uh, have for rewards for the different pledges there and weekly bonus content. Yep. Weekly bonus. You like Tony. our dumb fucking shit we spew <laughs> out of our faces. Boy, no one sells it like you. <laughs> then enjoy. Uh, <laughs> and, uh. You know, uh, if you want to donate there, we appreciate it. Uh, or if you're going to be shopping on Amazon, uh, go to saltylanguage.com first, click the Amazon banner, and then shop away as normal, uh, as I did last week. Um, Ooh. yeah. Um, they throw us a little, a little bit for sending you their way, you know? And. Yes, indeed. And then, of course, it, you know, other ways you can help the show if you'd like to. Retweet our tweets uh, so that, you know, more people may see the episodes and such uh, so they can listen. And or uh, if you're on iTunes, please leave us a rating, review, and subscribe if you haven't already for some reason. And if you're using Stitcher or some other podcast app, uh, please use the like or share uh, options. To you know, just just maybe definitely. help us find some more listeners, and uh, most definitely, most deaf, nice, most deaf. And of course, while you're on saltylanguage.com, dot com, as you usually are, don't forget to swing by the networks we're part of: the Tangent Mount Network, uh, Geek Life Radio, and of course, Danger. Watch your back. Danger. Entertainment. Damn right. Check out all you know some shows over there because there's a whole bunch of shows on those networks you can, you know, I'm sure there's probably something else you can listen to that'll tickle your. And for sure, listen to us first. Well, obviously, and probably again. I mean, jeez. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Double, double. So just make sure you caught all the fucking comedy gold. Right. Yeah. Maybe even a third time. Yeah, I mean, if you got a pan for that much comedy gold, you might as well. Yeah, just to be thorough. You know, you don't want any yeah. nug- nuggets leaking through. So you know, No, definitely not. not. At all. There's so yeah. many nuggets here. <laughs> if you want to contact us, you can uh, hit us up at saltylanguage at gmail.com. Uh, you can call us and leave a voicemail if you'd like to at 415-857-2589. Mm-hmm. Feel free to answer the QW on our voicemail. Yeah. We, I, will play, I will play your voice. Yeah. Now, again, we ask if you call and leave us a voicemail, make sure you use your most sensual voices. Yeah, I want breathing. <laughs> I want the sounds of lotion being applied. <laughs> oh, great. Now the guy from your gym is going to call. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> hey, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
was watching you in the locker room. Weren't you watching me? <laughs> I'm still watching you. <laughs> uh, I just got a fresh bottle of lotion. I could be uh, out here all creepy. night. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, if you want to. <laughs> well, only just it becomes this all of a sudden. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah dude uh, other ways to contact us are on twitter at salty underscore language you can follow me at stunami uh, if you're looking on the twitter machine I am at monotony mm-hmm. monotony or you can hit me up on snapchat salty underscore language I'm at Ninjitsu. I'll be putting cooking shit up there so feel free to do stuff it's true you, you, if you like, do you like Nick Cage's dumb head because I got plenty of that. <laughs> you certainly do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and other surprises. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, the more I play a Snapchat, the sillier it gets. That's yeah, true. It's true. You were definitely trying to do dark things with it. Um, what's our YouTube? I forgot it already. Salty Language Pod. Okay. On the YouTube. Yeah, we've got some playlists. Feel free over to there. go there and check out. Yep, exactly. We got playlists. We got any show you want to listen to. We got all of our enthusiasts. Go back and check out some of the sweet guests we interviewed. Yeah. Do you like Chap Hop? Because we hit most of the top yeah, Chap Hop Yeah, we certainly guys. did. Yeah, we really did. Uh, yeah, all sorts of fun interviews over there or on the website at, you know, under the enthusiast looking or link <laughs> looking. Oh, jeez. That's a shit show, Tony. Um, it is a shit show. I'll edit that out. Um, Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. All the social media links is on, or, oh God, all the social media links are on the website. So go check, you know. Uh, are you to drinking the- too? Boy, I feel like it. Jesus. My brain's just like, you know what? Full retard. <laughs> just for funsies. Ugh. All right. And wow. again, if you want to join our uh, our uh, Dude Mountain Football League, send us an email or you know hit us up on Twitter or whatever, so I can get your email address, so I can send you an invite. And uh, yeah, I think I think that's that's pretty good. I don't know. I you know, ah, we'll talk about it off show. Never mind. So I guess until next time, have beer. You'll be fine. I would have multiple beers to be fine. Yeah. I think that's my problem. I think I need a few to straighten me out. Also, stay salty. Right. And um, careful with your thrown rod. (laughs) Ouch.